I'm still in the kitchen or back in the kitchen or whatever you want to call it. Welcome, y'all. This is the, I guess you could say, the biggest project I have in the kitchen for Christmas. It's chicken puffs. I've been making them for about 30 years. Before that, my mother-in-law made them. Before that, my husband's grandmother made them. So, I'm getting started on it. It is an all-day process. They are a puffed, it's chicken broth, butter, flour, and eggs. There will be 16 eggs in this pot when I get done. And you have to add them one at a time after you get the flour and everything in there. But anyway, it's an all-day process because then after you bake them, you have to stuff them with a cream cheese, chicken, Louisiana red hot, garlic salt, onion powder, mixture so that's what i'm doing today my daughter's supposed to come home and help me she's gone to work on a customer's dog and then she's got some pies to make and then she's going to come help me this is four cups of broth that used my homemade turkey broth and four sticks of butter. I have 16 eggs in here. You're supposed to add them one at a time, but I'm just going to get my little half cup measuring cup and do it that way. And this recipe says to mix with a spoon. If you don't mix with a spoon, they don't work. I've tried it with a regular spoon. It doesn't work. I have tried it in my stand mixer. They don't work. 
You have to mix them with a wooden spoon by hand. Why? I don't know, but they don't work if you don't do it this way. When you bake them, they don't puff up. And it's hard to stir them. We usually have, well, most of the time it's me and my husband, but all these years, the kids want to help, they get to help stir. Because your arm gets to where you can't hardly stir no more. Break time. Okay. This wood spoon has only been used for chicken puffs. It is the chicken puff spoon. My kids know which spoon it is. There's only one and I have two kids. I don't know who's going to fight over it and get it. Probably my daughter. I don't know. <laughs> but this is the chicken puff, puff spoon. I had... I bought two of these spoons, they were together, and one of them is my spoon that I use for my tea, when I make iced tea, and it's all stained and dark, but this is chicken puff spoon, and this is my probably 30 year old cookie sheets, um, and you can tell, um, I use them for pizza too, but, and you can tell that too by the starburst but I have to spray them and then I will start putting chicken puffs on Those done. He's on the cookie sheet. And one in the oven that is ready to come out. So I got to do that. Okay. 
cut them in half, but don't cut them all the way through so that they open and you can stuff them. See, they're hollow inside. These are ones that are cut in half. These are ones that just come out of the oven. This is six packages of cream cheese. Probably about eight ounces, maybe 12 of chopped up leftover turkey, even though they're chicken puffs. Um, some Louisiana red hot sauce and garlic salt, onion powder, and mix and mix and mix. It's all mixed up. Okay, it's time to stuff them. Open it up like a little Pac-Man. Stuff it in there. Get another one. Do that until they're all stuffed. Get it done before Amanda gets back because she'll want to yeah, eat them. Yeah, she'll be eating them. Mm hmm. That's the thing. You got to eat a few while you're stuffing. Thanks for joining us, y'all.